Welcome back. We are going to go through uh, how to set up DaVinci Resolve, all the plugins that you're going to need, and go through why we use Resolve for our own pipeline. We used to use Adobe Premiere and After Effects, but um, because 360 video tends to use a lot of uh, cleanup and compositing, but at very high resolutions, we started to find that uh, After Effects specifically um, was relatively slow as far as the rendering was concerned. That sort of coupled with the fact that Adobe has recently not been supporting any updates to some of their 360 workflows. So we were still using like a really old version of After Effects. So sort of in early 2022, we changed over our our pipeline to use resolve so um so a lot of people uh in our experience maybe are not that familiar with resolve and its fusion workflow which is so fusion is its sort of it's a compositing program but we found it to be a really good uh powerful uh program for for creating immersive content so uh the first thing you're going to want to do is if you go to blackmagicdesign.com you will land on Blackmagic's uh, uh, homepage. And so you just click on products, go to DaVinci Resolve Infusion software. Um, so there is a, they, they have a free version. So if you're, if you just kind of want to learn the basics of DaVinci Resolve, um, you can, you can definitely use the free version. The uh, kind of the catch is that the, the, the VR tools that you'll use for um, viewing your content inside of a headset and using the the VR plugins that are available in Fusion, those are only available in the paid version. Um, so the paid version is this DaVinci Resolve Studio. Um, if you're just doing compositing as well, there is a Fusion Studio that just has um, just has the compositing part of the program uh, available to it, but uh, we find that we're we're mostly kind of bouncing between all the different different stages. So you're gonna need to get DaVinci Resolve Studio. It is 300 bucks. You can go ahead and buy it. You know, pay for it. You'll download it, and once you install it, you will have a little logo on your desktop. And that'll load up. Uh, we're currently using uh, Studio 18. So when you first open up Resolve it'll open up to this uh this page which is your main project page um but for now just like start a uh, a new project so we come down here we click new project let's just call it our 360 test the test project yeah and you create a new project and then you're presented with this window um, everything you need is sort of right there for you. But the first thing is, so in the media tab, this is where you will import footage and organize it into your folders and into your bins. So you can access your drives up here. Um, and then down here is where your, um, where your folders for your projects, um, that are kind of organized internally will be. The cut tab is where you actually do your editing. So if you are familiar with any kind of editing programs, this is your timeline. This is where those sequences go. Um, and this is yeah, up here is where, you're, where you'll see your videos. Works very similar to most of the other uh, NLEs like, uh, like Premiere or Final Cut. Um, uh, and this is just sort of like a real basic editing um, program here in the cut tab. Um, the more advanced one is going to be in your edit. Um, so this is where, this is primarily where I would, like I start, I import my media, then I go to the edit and start working on my edit. Um, in the edit, you've got your media pool up here. You've got your list of effects. And then going on to the next tab is the fusion tab. And this is actually where you do compositing. We'll get into how that works. It's a node-based compositor. So it's, it's similar if you're familiar with Nuke, uh, which is also a node-based compositing software. you you essentially are instead of using layers like you would in After Effects, you use these things called nodes, which you um, connect together. And it actually allows you to organize your footage, I think, in a much more um, logical way. Um, in After Effects, 
our old pipeline used to be like all these nested sequences and comps and um, you had to like nest things in a very specific order to get it to work right. But here in Fusion, you can really just see the graph of how your footage is being put through different effects and through different uh, layers. Um, so that'll all happen in here. You've got a color tab. So it's kind of like your color correcting tab. Um, Fairlight is the audio program. Uh, we don't use Fairlight for audio. We use a different program called Reaper. Um, mostly it's because that's what sort of we're familiar with and we've been using since the beginning of 360. So um, it might be possible to use Fairlight for 360 audio editing, um, but that will come in a different video if that's possible. And then the deliver, um, which is essentially your rendering. Um, so once you have a project finished, this is where you would export your um, your video or your clips. Um, that all happens in here. I hope you're enjoying this preview of my cinematic 360 video post-production class. You can get this tutorial and five complete chapters for free by signing up at learn.voyeur.com. The full class includes 10 hours of content covering stereoscopic, 360 video, 180 VR, and more. It's now available at learn.voyeur.com, so go ahead and check it out.